At 27, Britney Spears has had five number one albums and is the mother of two young children. She is the most in-demand performer of her generation and shows no signs of slowing down. But after a decade at the top of the business, there are three images of the pop star that will be remembered for years to come. How did America's sweetheart end up in tatters, falling apart at the seams while the world looked on? It was a slow journey into madness, beginning as an overworked child and later carrying the pressure of fame on her teenage shoulders. At the end of the day, when all this is said and done, what do you want for yourself? Forget what anybody else wants for you. What do you want for yourself? Um, to be happy and be a good person. That's it. But the demise of her relationship with Justin Timberlake set something in motion. And Britney Spears has never been the same. <laughs> Reportedly, the romance came to an end when Britney, in a moment of weakness, had an affair with dancer Wade Robson, a close friend of Timberlake's. <laughs> when Justin allegedly found a love note between the two, he called off the relationship and set about seeking revenge. The less famous boy bander used speculation about the affair to kickstart his solo career, later calling Britney out to the tabloids. And just like that, the thinly veiled game of charades was over. She tried drugs. Britney wasn't a virgin, and she lied to the world about it. So, um, I would love to be able to try and wait till I'm married, you know what I mean, and just make sure it's the right person. While it was her team that created her chaste image, it was Britney who took the hit. All the while, Timberlake watched from the sidelines as the woman he claimed to have loved careened out of control. Lonely and heartbroken, Britney sought refuge at clubs, becoming a staple on the Hollywood party circuit. Hey, yeah, don't pull up, don't pull up. But in a testament to her talent and work ethic, she continued to churn out hit records. <laughs> By the end of 2003, Britney released her fourth number one album, In The Zone, making her the first woman to have four consecutive records go straight to number one on the U.S. charts. Honestly, I'm at the point where I'm not, I don't really think it's about, like, selling 50 million records or da da da, da you know what I mean? But as her fame grew, so too did her desire to lead a regular life. She was longing for the guidance of someone who wasn't relying on her for a meal ticket or enamored with her stardom. If this is what I'm going to do, then I have to make it as normal as possible. I mean, what's normal for me may not be normal for you, but I know what works for me, and some people don't. In January 2004, Britney tied the knot with childhood sweetheart Jason Alexander after a whirlwind visit to Las Vegas. The union was annulled 55 hours later by Mom Lynn who flew to Vegas and separated the young couple while doing damage control with the press. If your life is like this constantly, what's the point of living, you know? The quickie wedding created a media feeding frenzy, and Britney found herself fighting speculation that she was losing her grip on reality. I've never really thought about what people think of me. I really don't care. Like, I know I'm not a bad person. I know I'm not this or that, so I just kind of... Do my own thing. The virginal bubblegum princess was eager to be rid of the shackles her parents, record labels, managers, and all around yes people bestowed on her. I think a lot of times it's a lot of the people around you change and they become like yes people and then that changes you as a person. But music was all she knew and soon Britney was back to work, getting ready for her next world tour. The Onyx 
Brooks Hotel tour grossed over $38 million U.S. But life on the road was extremely isolating, and Britney was lonelier than ever. I think I have sides. I think I have, like, my true heart and my core is just down home, girl. Insiders say it was loneliness that impaired Britney's judgment when she invited backup dancer Kevin Federline to join her at her London tour stop. It just happened, you know? It was almost like both of us, you know? She, she was looking for me and I was looking for her this whole time. The brand new coupling was a tabloid dream come true. Kevin had walked out on fiance Char Jackson, who was pregnant with his second child. We thought it would lighten up eventually, and due to just, it's not going to. Britney was called a promiscuous homewrecker, while Kevin was labeled a white trash gold digger. Unfazed, the pair fell in love, got married, and had two babies within the span of two years. I love kids. That's probably my best quality. I love, it's so weird, like when a kid walks into a room, you're just like, everything's okay now. You know what I mean? I love, I love kids. The whirlwind romance was the most criticized, scrutinized, and ridiculed in Hollywood. Don't hate, cause I'm a superstar. Soon, Britney became her own worst enemy, following the path of so many others who found too much fame too soon.